The issue becomes though, is if I said that this stock was going to drop to 35, but it actually went from 74 to 100 or to 150 or to 300 or to 500, like in the case of GME or whatever, where did GME go? Let me see, I'll go to the chart real quick. GME hit a high, if I remember, of 513, okay? That is exponential loss that not only that hedge fund had, but also the people that were also short on it. So when you are short as well, there you have to cover your position depending on the brokerage and depending on the risk. There's also implied volatility. And I'm, I'm not going to get into all of this because this ends up being a very in-depth conversation. But with respect to the risk of the trade, the, pers the respect to the volatility, there is also you know, collateral that that company has to take in and then also the duration that they allow for that short to be covered. OK, so um, when people cover a short, you buy back. So to a person that is just looking at this, they see a lot of purchases to buy the stock. These could be shorts that are or that are buying their shares back and new buyers coming in. And that is where you get a short squeeze that ends up driving the price up. 